of the last century, the Yukon in Canada, a white wilderness for many months of the year, was the scene of one of the most dramatic gold rushes of all time. It was against this setting that a master storyteller named Jack London wrote one of his most exciting books, The Story of White Fang. Now, from the same people who first introduced White Fang to cinema audiences all over the world, comes a sequel. Challenge to White Fang. White Fang lives again. Half dog, half wolf, he accepts the love of a boy and defies the dangers of the wild. Good boy, good boy. Good dog, here, here. Oh, I guess one dog's better than no dogs at all. What's the matter, sister? You look as if you've just seen a ghost. Not a ghost. But a devil. I'm not a surgeon. I know, but we have nobody else. Can't you see he'll die if we don't operate? <laughs> In the frozen wastes of the north, close to the Arctic Circle, a journalist, a dog and a boy find themselves entangled in an action-packed adventure. An officer refused to get involved in a scandal of dishonor. At the mercy of human treachery, the fury of the elements, Savage birds of prey. <laughs> and the murderous, bone-chilling cold. What is more important, the fight for survival or the desperate headlong race for gold? In a land where greed turns men into beasts, a dog becomes the key to kindness and friendship. Well, you saw what he did. To me, that means he loves both of us. A whole town has sworn to hunt him down and destroy him. But no man can match the courage and cunning of White Fang. to White Fang, the story of a dog who is prepared to defy even death to save his friends. Come back, White Fang!